Hello everyone, Professor Prophet with you from Krebs University. Episode 3 of Building a Bankroll, where we show you strategies that win at the craps table, increasing your bankroll and making for a good day. So we began with a $1,000 bankroll, a $1,000 investment. Uh, in our session 2, we won $113 uh, yesterday, and that brings our uh, $1,000 starting bankroll to $1,249. Uh, today we're going to play uh, another session. Uh, we're going to play for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, as we said before, uh, you get about six rolls for every roll you'll get at a live table playing this way. And so uh, 10 to 15 minutes equals about an hour at a live table. Uh, we're going to risk uh, $300 over our bankroll today and uh, see if we can increase it once again. We uh, starting off at 12:49 as we said before, and we're going to begin with a five-dollar pass line bet. So let's put that out there and the come out roll and see how we do today. Okay, the nine is going to be our number. We're going to start with our uh, basic uh, 64 across uh, betting pattern, and we're going to pick up that nine by uh, taking odds on the pass line behind the pass line. And uh, so first shooter of the day, here's the first roll, and we have an easy 10, that's an $18 winner. And as you may remember, uh, when we hit those numbers, we take down two of the numbers to limit our risk. And we start at the outside edge, in this case the four and the 10, and work our way in until we get down to the last two numbers, which would be the six and the eight, which are uh, the highest probability hit numbers. So that's kind of the, uh, strategy that we've been using and we're going to continue today and if uh, we get on a bad run of course we'll switch to another strategy but uh, if it ain't broke don't fix it so let's uh, let's keep going all right there's the seven out on the next row so uh, that wasn't good so we'll put another pass line bet out and there's a, another seven this time however it's a winner and again uh, we're obviously going with just random shooters here, uh, no dice influencing on an app. Uh, we're going to increase our bet since we had a losing round, uh, the first round with the first shooter, and hope this uh, shooter can do a little better. Uh, we're not going to put the uh, 10 behind the pass line because we can only get three times odds back there. So we'll just put it as a place bet, a $25 place bet, and go with it there. Okay, our first roll is the easy four, so that's a $45 winner, and we'll take down the uh, four and the 10. And next roll is a nine, so that's another $35, and we'll take down the five and nine, just leaving the six and the eight. Uh, craps three, now uh, that's a horn number. Normally we would take down uh, two numbers if we had the outside numbers, but we're down to just the six and the eight. So when that's the case, we'll just leave those up until we uh, either hit them or hit big red. So we do hit it there, that's uh, uh, six two easy eight. So that's all the numbers and we'll take those down and we'll repopulate with 64 across. And this time we will uh, take those pass line odds to represent the 10. And here we go. Okay, yo, so we'll take down the four and the 10 since that's a horn number. Roll them again, there's the nine. So that's a $14 winner. We'll take down the five and the nine. Four, one, five, hard four. And we seven out. So 1323. And we'll uh, go on to the next shooter. $5 pass line bet. And five is gonna be our number. And we're going to go with the 64 across once again. Represent the 5 by taking our odds behind the pass line. Cap the 6 and 8 up to $12, so we get a full $14 payout if they hit. First roll is an easy 4, so that's an $18 winner. And we'll take down the sister numbers 4 and 10. Second roll is a horn number, yo 11, so we'll take down the 9 and the 5. And that leaves us with the 6 and the 8. Uh, yo again, we're, as we said before, we'll leave those numbers up since they're the only two left. And the uh, six does hit, so uh, we'll reduce down now to uh, 32 across, just one unit on all the numbers. 
and see if we can continue uh, with this shooter. All right, good shot, easy 10, so that's a winner. And we'll take down the 4 and the 10, roll them again. And we hit the 9 on that one, so we'll take down the 5 and the 9, and once again we're down to the 6, 8 again. And we hit the 7, and so you can see by taking down those outside numbers as we hit numbers, uh, we saved ourselves uh, $20, uh, $20 loss there. Okay, so let's go one more time. New shooter. And there's a easy 8. That's going to be our number. And we're going to start out with 64 across. And you'll notice we just put 10 uh, on the on the uh, behind the pass line bet. Take odds of 10. That's because on uh, the pass line the 8 pays at 6 to 5, so we'll still get a full payout, and we risk one one less dollar. So that's a good thing. Okay, four or five uh, on the first roll. Uh, take down the four and ten with the winner. And we seven out there, so that shooter uh, didn't help. And we'll move on to the next one. And we start off with an easy eight. And we're going to increase uh, the bets up to 25 on this one. 30 on the six, and we're going to take odds on that eight behind the pass line. Uh, since the number is eight, here we go. Seven out, so that one hurt. And another pass line bet. Okay, and that's uh, five is going to be our number. So once again, we're going to increase these numbers, these bets up to uh, 50 across, 60 in the middle, so that's 320 across, and we need some numbers here. All right, there's the easy four, so it's a $90 winner, and we take down those outside numbers. Easy six, so it's another hit. So we'll take down the five and the nine and see if we can get one more here, another hit. So that was a good round. We'll uh, take everything down now and reduce back down to 64 across and uh, see if this uh, shooter can continue to hit numbers for us. Okay, the hard four on the first roll after we reduced our bet. So that's an $18 winner and we'll take down the four and the 10. Hard eight on the next row, another $14 winner. So we'll take down the odds bets on the five and we'll take down the nine place bet. Uh, easy 10, yo 11, nine, yo 11. Now that's four consecutive rolls where we didn't throw a six or an eight. So um, usually when, I'd, when that happens, I'll go ahead and take down either the six or the eight doesn't really matter which one, just whatever you feel like. Uh, we've had four rolls without uh, hitting either one of those numbers. That's pretty unusual. So uh, let's go ahead and get a little more liability out of the way and uh, see what happens. There's a five. That's the number uh, uh, we needed to uh, hit, hit that pass line. So this is a come out roll. And the six is the number. So we are covered on the six and the eight now once again. There's a hard 10, and uh, quite a few throws here without hitting a 6 or an 8 except on that come out roll. And there's a, finally we hit that 8, and uh, so we'll repopulate and we'll reduce down to one unit on everything. And here we go. 7 out, just like that. Alright, so next shooter. Come out rolls the easy eight, and we'll go with 32, or excuse me, 64 across. Cap off that six, eight we bet in behind the pass line. First rolls the hard four, $18 winner. We like that. We'll take down the four and the 10. Next rolls a uh, five, so another winner, and we'll take down the five and the nine. Another five, and seven out there. So um, do one more shooter here, the hard four, and we're going to keep it at uh, 64 across, although the last time was not a winning session or a winning uh, roll. Um, we did hit a few numbers, so we didn't lose much at all, so we'll just keep it where it is, keep that uh, exposure at a minimum, 
And first roll is good for us, uh, hits the six, so we'll take down the outside numbers. There's another winner, a nine, and we'll take down the nine and the five sister numbers. And there's uh, aces in both places, and there's the seven. And so uh, I think we're going to call, uh, call this session complete. And uh, we end up at $1,411. And we started out at $1,249. So $162 win on this session. So another good session for us. Uh, so episode three uh, ends with a, uh, another increase in our bankroll. We uh, hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode and that you'll join us again as we continue on these episodes on how to build a bankroll and how to win at the craps table. Uh, it's not hard, folks. Anyone can do this. It's just a matter of being disciplined when uh, the dice don't go your way um, and being able to walk away from the table even if you're down a couple hundred dollars uh, and, and save that bankroll for another day. Uh, that didn't happen today, another winner, so a uh, good day in the casino for Professor Profit. Uh, please hit that like button if you uh, got any benefit out of this. And subscribe. We'd like to start doing this live, but we need to get to 1,000 subscribers to do that. Professor Profit with you from Crabs University. Thank you for joining us. If you're hitting that casino, good luck to you. I hope all your roles are winners. Bye-bye.